Hi guys, uh, welcome back to the channel. So I don't have a tripod, I've snapped both the feet on it, so I need to order a new one. We're using the phone, um, we'll see how we get on with this for now. Um, obviously I can't put the phone down and show you exactly what I'm doing, but I can take you through the steps. So, duck run. I've got a fence panel there, tied along, that's six foot high, 13 foot wide over there. And there's a pallet there, that is for measuring the gate because like as you see with my pallet design here what we're going to do is fix two pallets together because it's be higher have that and flipped that way round and fix them to a post so more brackets as well better locking mechanism and the gate post that I showed you just a second ago these gate posts are going to be concrete in the ground over there where that pallet is I've got another pallet over there and the rest of my metal sheets are in that trailer over there as well so yeah, these will be concreted in the ground um, with two pallets fixed together as a swinging door and then we'll work on getting more fence posts. I might have to buy some actual posts because the tree branch ones I'm doing I'm running low and it's taking a lot of time. I've been trying to get it done for two months and I haven't progressed so I'm just going to buy the posts and get them in the ground as quick as I can now. So yeah. So I don't have the GoPro so I can't hold it with a tripod. But just cutting it like that, right? See how it's split in there, and now I need to make sure that it's even on the other side. Otherwise, I'm going to split the wood on the top. I haven't got my tripod, so I'm messing up here, guys. But yes, yeah, so I'm going to raise the height there so it doesn't split the wood. Um, yeah, I need to get the tripod sorted for the GoPro, and then I can start doing this journey again. So I've got these long posts, and I'm going to cut them down to nine foot. I've already measured and on that one as well I've measured cut these down to nine feet these are to go in the ground and they're going to be gate posts so I'm going to concrete them in and then I'm going to put two pallets so like I've done on the duck run with the pallet I'm going to fix two pallets together to make the height up so yeah okay so we've dug the holes one there and one there these are for the gate posts now these are just over one and a half foot deep I've put the pole in the ground and decided I can take another 15 inches off of it just for the height. Hello, girls. Um, obviously, we put a sheet across here just to get an idea, temporary, of how it's going to look and the design. Uh, work out where we're putting the gate and some of the posts. So, I'm going to take 15 inches off of this post here, and that should leave me about six foot five from the post out of the ground, which is an ideal height. None of us are over six foot anyway, so leaving that extra few feet is nice obviously these sheets are roughly six foot high so the extra five is going to be like here and obviously i'm going to be netting anyway so that extra little gap's fine you have a nice swim and he's cleaning um conifers we had a storm literally two days ago so yeah and uh it's looking a bit green so it's time for a clean on that regard so now i need to load up some ballast and sand into the bucket and take it round Okay, so the two gate posts are now concrete into the ground. Obviously, it's drying. You'll see it's drying there. So we've used um, a pallet in between, got our measure right. Um, obviously, we've also used the spirit level to get the gate posts as level as they can in the ground as well. And then, obviously, what I'll do next is I'll either get the pallet gate on or I'll then work on getting the post and the fencing done as well. So that fence in there will come up to this gate and fix onto it and work our way all the way around the back of the duck house it's mainly uh, going to be more like a fox proofing area and um, obviously with the avian flu restrictions coming out well we haven't got them here yet in Wales but when they do also I can then just net across the top It'd be a nice height we can do a walking run nice size ducks have plenty of space I mean all this area that they've got you can see by the different shades of the mud where they like to go. Like they don't even use up here. They don't even use up around the back of the pond. It's only really that area down there by the conifers anyway. So space-wise in here, I think we'll uh, have plenty of room. So it's going to go out past around the back there. And um, they don't even come around here, as you'll see. Look, you can tell by the use. Oh, well, they do like to sleep around here. Sorry, girls. They do have a sleep around here now and again. That's about it. So, yeah, and obviously I'll come up to this fence line. And I run another line across, may seem weird, but because while I'm doing it, I might as well be more fox proof. And chicken wire, I could go another route high with the chicken wire, but 
it's flimsy stuff anyway. I mean, this is more so what my brother's used on his, which he's had to move because the rolling rack got in there and got three of them, but yeah. So, um, they've had to move theirs into a shed. Okay, so with the posts concreted into the ground, nice and sturdy, they ain't moving at all. So the concept of this pallet gate is similar to that one. I've got to do this one-handed, guys. So, we're going to put hinges on here and I'm either gonna make the second one sit on top because it's obviously the height we'll either fix to this pallet or we'll just fix to that and I can have it like a stable door not too sure yet till we get there so the idea will be it'll be on the hinges and you just have to get the concept here that it will open outwards now I am picking it outwards for a pure reason with the ducks guiding them back in obviously if I have the door inwards it doesn't give me something to you know anchor them in I need them to have that sort of pathway to channel them so they don't go off pew, pew. so I can use that as a, a route in guide them in and if I have to put something up here just to guide them in as well because they are like that at night I have to put a fence panel across that side of the ramp and I'll show you quickly like so so I have to get this panel here and put it across there so I can guide them in and up as they are absolute pests for that you know, Barry and Larry, even though they are females, I don't know where the names come from. It's just the fact that they're, you know, Larry runs off by himself. It goes one way, Barry goes the other way. So, what I'm going to do now is, I've picked up, well, I've got more, I've got five hinges so far. These are three inch hinges. We'll fix them on. I'm going to hopefully put three on each gate. Um, and get that fixed to the post using some wood screws. Okay, so I'm about to get rained on, so it's meant it's short and sweet. So two pallets are fixed together on a temporary fix. So I've used a three inch hinge up the top there, a four inch hinge in the middle to fix both pallets together this side with the hinge, and then another three inch hinge at the bottom. So this gate will open out. Here is my temporary fix this side. So there's a piece of wood affixed with a couple of screws here on the inside and this one is actually on technically what you'd call the outside but obviously the other side and the gate will work like so so what I need to do is get a like a tower bolt something like that and fix the lock across and then it will obviously fix in nicely to here um, obviously the alignment can be slightly out which isn't too bad Obviously, I've had to concrete in, so I mean, look at this. This is what an inch gap between them, so it's fine with me on that side. At the end of the day, this is more to stop a fox rather than rolling rat. Never going to stop that little bugger, are we? So, there's the double pallet gate compared to the single pallet gate. I think it's pretty genius. Um, and I might have to take a bit off the top at some point when I get time. At the minute, I'm in a bit more of a rush to get you know all fenced round and up and running. So with that in mind what I've got to do now is I haven't got a, a locking mechanism on me and the wind will because I've managed to get the alignment right on the bottom the wind will actually blow it open because it's nice and soft to move look at that, so quick and easy, there's no weight to it at all whatsoever so let's see if I can just put some cable ties around just to hold it in place because we've got heavy winds again and I don't want a duck getting swung out by a pallet gate so yeah <laughs>